So I, I, I love my documentaries, 100% love my documentaries. So when I'm sat down watching a documentary and it's on about nanotechnology, it then gets my head racing because most of the time I'm thinking about the Terminator franchise, as you would know. And it's Grace, and when you see her arm get shredded you know, by the rebar that's thrown by the Rev-9 in a hexagon shape, it's definitely, definitely got to be a nanotechnology that she's been implanted with. And if it's a nanotechnology, that's a nanometer, which it basically stands for nanometer. So nanometer is so microscopic, it's like smaller than the width of a hair. So yeah, there's protein-based nanotechnology, graphene, nanotech and the list goes on and on there's a lot and it's a hundredth of a nanometer or even i think it's even less i mean i think i've got some pictures here to start, like show you what it is you know and this is not me trying to be the genius in the room what i'm trying to do is just throw a theory about grace that's all so correct me if i'm wrong with any of these uh, facts or theories about nanotech. I'm no nanotech expert, but I do believe nanotech is involved in her creation. Has she been injected with this stuff? There's a collaboration between the engineering department and the microbiology department. We've developed a new technology which we call nano injection that allows us to move DNA into cells. Uh, they've literally got the nanobots or whatever and injected her and then they've been programmed to go into the hexagon shape which is the perfect shape one for them to bond together but also so they can move better in every direction because obviously she's got to be um taken as a human being or she is a human being with this technology underneath her which makes her more resistant to rebars being thrown at her and to hopefully and possibly bullets uh, could this nanotech be made out of kevlar nanotech uh, programmed to reheal itself if it gets broken programmed to take on the full brunt of a bullet and then the as a uh, bulletproof vest does, and uh, you most most of you will know that it um, dissipates the energy, um, so it spreads the energy across a larger surface, which then takes the energy out of the bullet. The same with if it's nanotech, it could um, one make her more ten, uh, tensile and strong, uh, increasing the strength, especially if it's programmed to help a sister. And as you can see in some of the clips, she looks a lot stronger than any other human being when she's ragdolling them policemen about. It'd protect her from heat because it'd help spread heat across the body, uh, hopefully absorbing it and taking the energy yet again away from vital organs inside the body. So this nanotech is a good idea. It's the, the only part that... It, confuses me is how to get it in there and it must be injected and then painfully it, it makes its way through her body and is programmed to cover every area like a new skin a new skin under the skin injected nanotechnologically programmed to give her this hexagonal shape layer which is the ideal shape for movement and protection so if she's not the I-950, she's definitely something along them lines. Who created Grace, we don't know yet, whether she's a uh, spoiler warning, I'll say that. Whether she's Skynet or Legion's uh, uh, device, or whether she is actually the Resistance, and the Resistance have worked out how to program nanotechnology because we've got to remember in this film if judgment day has been averted and kicked down the road technology would have been more advanced before 
Judgment Day kicks off this time. So if Judgment Day isn't isn't until 2021, 20, 22, um, then nanotechnology is very, 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 very likely for the resistance. Skynet or Legion is a different matter altogether. That that computer is going to be thinking at such a rate that well it gets time travel doesn't it so what do you think do you think it's nanotech injected to form a protective layer or is it something else let me know in the comments below this is upside down six peace out